everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new hp victus 16 model and the exact model is a victus or whatever victus whatever you, however you spell that 16-d05d07 and that information can be found on the bottom right by the serial number it says product id provided by hp laptop 16 dash d0507 and um, in this video i'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the ram and what are the max capacity rams you can have in here and we do get clients in and we do upgrade for them all the time uh, doesn't matter what series you have as long as you have a victus 16 i core 5 or 7 generation this video is for you I made a really short video so you can check uh, without any programs what's the maximum RAM capacity of your motherboard, your CPU. Check that link in the video description, it's a really short one. But in this video, I'm gonna go on how you can open it up and how you can replace it. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely, make sure it's powered off. I'll put one workshop tile on, the, on this side because I'm gonna flip it, I don't wanna scratch it. Now, you're gonna go where the tools I'll be using, a uh, screwdriver set. I'll be recommending uh, I fix the screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You are gonna be using a Phillips number zero, not one Phillips number zero, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Phillips number zero. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna remove all the screws on the front end of the laptop. There are four of them, and there's a four right at the back. There's nothing on the side. You're gonna remove these screws and keep them in one pile as all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area Now that we removed all the screws, we need an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'm gonna to be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And so what are we gonna do? We're gonna stick the opening tool between the, any corner. You can start from left or right. Just stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna twist it upward, backward, and I'm gonna work myself all around, you wanna hear those click sounds, that's what you wanna hear, those big click sounds. I'm sticking about three or two, four millimeter, I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick inside. Once I did the front end, I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. You stick it right in the corner, and they just rotate. Okay, you wanna work yourself all the way to the back corner, right there, and on the back end, same thing you want to do, closer to the bottom case. And you want to rotate, you want to hit that big sound clip. Those are the clips that are getting loose, you're not breaking anything, you're just getting loose the clips. Once you finish with that one, you want to put it down. You can do the left side, one just came out loose, and lift it up and pull it up a little harder. But there's a tiny clips that hold in the middle, so these are clips right in here. So if you want to pull it up, you will want to grab it and let it give it a little yank and it will release these clips in the middle. One right here, two, three clips that holds from the battery. All right, now we can put that on one side and right away we can see the RAM right in here. There's a two RAM DM space in here, there's no four or anything like that. And uh, first thing before anybody starts yelling that you need to remove the battery, you absolutely don't need to remove the battery to do any RAM upgrade or storage upgrade. But for those people that are really paranoid and they want to remove their battery, all you got to do is your two fingers at the side of this jack and you want to pull it backward evenly. So bring it back evenly and there you go. And that's how you can remove the battery. But you don't need to. And uh, anyway, you want to put it back in, make sure you put it in straight inward. Don't put it sideways or anything like that, otherwise you have a risk of making it short. That's why I always say, don't try to remove the battery. All right, so for the RAMs, for the RAM, all you need to do is to release the RAM, you want to pull these two triggers, which is right in here. You want to pull them away from each other in here, and the RAM will come up in 45 degree. All you want to do, you want to 
pull it back on a 45 degree angle. This is an 8 gig DDR4. So you can put an 8 gig. You want to put it back in. Make sure the notch on the ramp matches the notch right on the DIN. Bring it down in 45 degree all the way in. Push it inside the DIN. And then you want to simply push it towards the motherboard. And you want, you're going to see these two triggers open and close. Just like that. Now if you want to put another 8 gig right here. Make sure the notch matches. Doesn't matter what orientation of the RAM chips you have. Doesn't matter. You can have a double sided RAM chip or single sided like that one. They are compatible. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree. All the way in. It snaps into. And then towards the motherboard. And that's how you can upgrade the RAM. To remove it. These two up. Pull it backwards. So this is a demonstration. I'm not actually replacing it. So you can put a 16 gig here and 16 gig there. To have a 32 gig total of the RAM storage. Now, if you want to have this connected battery, plug it back in. And once you finish with that one, simply you want to grab the cover, put it straight over. And then you want to pinch the corners. Then you want to hear those click sounds on the back side. And in the middle, those clips, tiny clips that they, you release, just press it in here, not too hard. And that's it. And the last thing is to just put the bottom screw. Now, sometimes when you remove the RAMs, you, you add the RAMs and you power on, it might not, it will power on, but it will stay in a black screen. Don't worry, don't panic, it's, go, it's okay. All you need to do is to remove both of the RAMs and then power, uh, power on the laptop and power it off after a few seconds and then install both of the RAMs. And then it's gonna, the motherboard is gonna go on a RAM check or it's called a main check mode. And it's gonna scan all your RAMs. Usually this process is automatically done every time you turn on the computer, but not all the time it works, it starts. So in order to force the RAM check, you remove both of the RAM, power it on. You don't need to put the cover on to power it on. Once it's, the lights turn on, they on the power on, and then you can, after a few seconds, power it off and install the RAMs again, and it will force it to do a RAM check. Uh, again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.